Scorpio. Welcome, Scorpios. I'm back, y'all, with another video. So, let's talk. Let's get a message for Scorpio. I'm using the Millennial Tarot or the Millennial Oracle deck here. And then we'll jump into the Tarot deck afterwards. But let's go ahead and pull the energy for Scorpio. If you're new, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. Thank y'all for being here with me today. All right, so it looks like, all right, it looks like a lot of y'all could be an influencer. It's like your life, it looks turnt, like, like really exciting. We got glow up, turnt at the bottom. So you guys have been glowing up. Y'all been blowing up. Y'all could be getting a lot of followers. Y'all have enough power to influence. You're marketing. You're persuasive. Like, yeah, like it looks like a, your turn. Okay, then we got shipping. Some of y'all may have may have literal like a, a business. Um, but this is when they believe in a relationship, wishing that you stay together, rooting for your partnership. Okay. So somebody could have said bye to someone. We got bye, Felicia. Because they was doing too much on the internet. We got no chill and viral. So somebody, you may have cut somebody off because they have no chill. Okay, but other people, you're very popular. So people around you are like, you know what? No, y'all, y'all should stay together. We're rooting for y'all. We want to see y'all together. All right, but you're trying to get people to look at it from your point of view. Okay. Now, we definitely got some gossiping going on. This is my gossip card. This is the sus. Somebody being shady. Something is being hidden. Suspicious, suspect, or untrustworthy. Okay. So, yeah. So, I'm going to pull one more. Let's see. Yeah, the grass wasn't green. You benched somebody. Some of y'all feel like you got played. We got well played and struggle is real. So some of y'all feel like you may have went through a hard time, um, may have had some type of setback or struggle or went through a rough patch, but you feel like this person played you. They didn't have no chill, so you had to get them, put them, send them on by their way. So now you could be online again. You could be going back to online dating. You're ready to mingle. You're single. Um, because you're ready to change directions. I see y'all got a following, okay? So, we got a follower, and then we got humble brag. So, it's kind of like you you got people who are watching you online that's rooting for something that you're ready to let go of, okay? You, you benched this person already. You put it on hold. It's on hold. Because the grass definitely was not greener. All right, so let's see what this person is thinking. How does this person feel about that? Ooh, excuse me. All right, so how does this person feel about Scorpio? All right. We got, I want to feel that way again. I look for you everywhere. This person is afraid to contact you too. We got, I'm afraid to contact you. So this person could be afraid of what could be said or afraid to reach out to you. This person loves you. We got to love you. All right. So this person definitely cares about you. Um, they want to be around you. They want to feel, feel that love and that loving energy from you again. And they're looking for you. They're looking for you everywhere. They just want to let you know that they love you. All right, so let's get into the tarot. Let's see what's, what happened. What's, what's going on? Why is Scorpio responding this way then? There has to be. There's two sides to a story. So let's see what's going on with the Scorpio. Tell me more about the situation with Scorpio. Tell me more what's going on.
some of y'all just flat out got bored. I just that just came out of nowhere. Like some of y'all just got bored with the connection. All right, but we got the Knight of Wands here. So yeah, this is very something that's on again, off again. Um, for some of you, this could be like with a baby father or someone who's older than you, or this this person could be very good, very charming and very good looking. But this person missed the opportunity with you. This person really missed, missed the opportunity. They missed out. All right, so you're at a fork in a row. It's like you don't understand why this person um, is behaving or responding like this. See, you're not sure how to why is the four pinnacles here because i see you holding on to something you've been holding back your feelings king of cups pisces cancer scorpio some of y'all want to stay single you're not sure if you want to go back because you just left this situation. You felt guilty about something. You walked away because you felt guilty about something. Somebody started something. Somebody wants to get married first before they do something. I'm getting that. I'm hearing that too. Like somebody wants to get married first. Possibly before like you move in together. Why is the six of, six of cups here? Queen of Swords, yeah. You're thinking about going back, but you're just not sure. You're not sure. Why is the Two of Swords here? My son. Could be a Leo. But maybe you feel like it's just you're just not having fun with this person. You want some um you're not sure what this person wants. They make things difficult. Why is the seven of wands here? Ace of Cups. And the lovers. Could be done with the Gemini. This person could have been like your first love or you falling really deep for this person. But you're just you're 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 unsure right now. You're unsure. You're trying to get an understanding. And until you get an understanding. I feel like you may be deciding like you want to stay single for a little while. I see um, the challenge is working on some issues, some issues that need to be worked on. Could be with the Virgo Taurus or Capricorn or there could be some financial issues that you're trying to straighten out. Now we got the Hermit. You could be dealing with the Virgo. Oh, I definitely do see you isolating yourself. I also see you re bouncing back from a, some type of setback. There was some type of setback, possibly financially. I see you uh, separating yourself or taking some time to yourself, um, reassessing things. And I see you really, really focused on your money. Um, but moving ahead... You're not, I, I just don't, I feel like maybe you feel like you rushed into this relationship or this relationship just seemed like it's moving too fast. So some of you decide to put it on hold um, and you're just kind of like keeping it there for a while. I think you want to have some fun. Maybe you want to go out with friends because we got the three of cups and the chariot it could be a cancer. Maybe you want to go out with friends. Maybe you want to hang out. This person is over here. They could be a Libra. They want justice. They want to balance the situation. Somebody here could also feel like 
for some of you, you've already like married this person, or you and someone here could possibly be married. Somebody is saying like they thought there was a that somebody was divorced. Yeah, this person is spying on you. Um, this person kind of got low self-esteem. Somebody got called, and I'm going to just put it out there. Somebody called somebody a B-word. Somebody called somebody a B-word. This person over here is like, they're spying on you. They're kind of jealous. I'm getting kind of like a jealous energy. Someone is acting single. Someone is acting single. I feel like it's you. You could be coming off as single. This other person, this other person is just sitting here watching you. Like, they, they like, kind of giving me, like, jealous vibes. Why the Five of Swords? This person feels like somebody's talking bad about them. I'm telling you, I'm, this person over here is somebody called somebody out of their name. Why is the Ten of Swords here? Yeah, you... I feel like you needed to cut this person off. Why the Empress? Somebody has a wife. I'm seeing that. Somebody's playing around, but they have a home. They have a somebody's living could be living a double life. I'm seeing that as well too. Why is the six and one here? Six of wands and the six of swords. Somebody's saying that they did somebody saying that they did something for attention. Queen of Wands, Leo Sagittarius Aries, and a page of cups. Somebody is married. Somebody is married or somebody lives with someone already. I'm seeing that too. I see you trying to figure out a way out of a situation. But somebody's doing something for attention. So somebody's coming towards you. Could be a cancer. Somebody's coming towards you because they want some attention. Somebody wanted to, wanted to the family thing or wanted to take things to the next level, but somebody feels like that's played out. Hope he changed his mind one day, but somebody's going to keep cheating. Somebody's being sneaky. Somebody's lying. Somebody's making making it seem like someone else is the problem when it's them. This is a lot of uh, back and forth energy. And I keep seeing like ongoing drama. I see some ongoing drama. Somebody's doing something for attention. This could be you. You could be backing away from this person for to get their attention, or this person is coming towards you to come try to get your attention. But I see somebody doing something for attention. I definitely see that. Okay. Let me see what this person's intentions is towards you. Show 
show me this person's intentions towards Scorpio. Ooh, ooh. All right, so yeah, this person does want to communicate with you. Um, they're wearing a mask, though. Somebody is a competition. There could be a other person involved, the other woman, competition, clever, malicious. Like somebody's mask. Maybe this person's mask is maybe this person is going to show you their true colors. I feel like this person does want to talk to you. This per, somebody's running away though. This person feels like you're running away. All right, so we got photograph right here stabbed in the back. So this person feels like they're stabbed. You stabbed them in the back. Looking at your photos, missing you, nostalgia, making new memories. They're looking at they're looking at you guys' photos. And you guys may have not been intimate with each other for a while. There may be talks about engagement, um, about an engagement ring and a wedding. But the decision hasn't been made yet. Okay, so the golden mirror self-absorbed narcissist this person feels like you are a narcissist and you're addicted to yourself <laughs> you're addicted to yourself like your image they feel like you care too much about your image instead of the relationship and you're more concerned about how things look instead of the actual relationship all right, so that's what I got for you guys. If this message resonated, be sure to hit the like button, share with your family and your friends, and I'm going to chat with y'all later. All right, ciao.